today we're going to be looking at the SC3 versus the Gerber strong arm. Now some might be already saying why not the SC4, and that's only because I don't have the SC4, but I still thought it'd be a fun video to take a look at the SC3 which performs very similar to an SC4 minus the blade length and the Gerber strong arm to see what a full flat grind blade can do in comparison to a more generic flat grind. Uh, survival knife. So I thought this would be a little bit of an odd one, but I like to get, keep you guys on your toes. So <laughs> let's jump into it. So this test had about as wacky results as the pairing. To start off, the batoning definitely went to the strong arm, and that's not terribly surprising due to the thin blade stock of the SC3 paired with his full flat grind. Full flat grinds already notorious for not being very good at splitting wood due to the fact that the blade doesn't have as much uh, thickness toward the initial cutting edge to help break that wood apart like a wedge. So initially the SC3 uh, was not did not do as well and like I said that's not as much attributed to the blade length as much as it is the blade thickness and the grind. Moving over to feather sticking. This is something that did definitely take me off uh, and or off guard and I was a little bit surprised at the results. Now the Gerber strong arm definitely did better and to an extent I was expecting that because flat grinds are generally better than full flat grinds at uh, feather sticking. However the SC's performance was definitely not great and I wanted to attribute that more to the fact that throughout this testing process and the cycle, trying to balance or use multiple grinds at once can be a little bit tricky because you have to basically try to go from one grind angle and one specific geometry to the next. And so sometimes your performance isn't always equal. So it's not necessarily that the SE3 is poor at uh, feather sticking as I've done plenty of good work with it in the past. It's just in this particular test, it wasn't the uh, best that the SE can do. So then moving over to notching, it was the polar opposite. So the SE did very good at notching and that's to be very much expected because a full flat grind, once again, has very little steel that you have to push through the blade, sorry, through the wood, and that allows you to make notches efficiently and effectively. Now the Gerber, I tried my hardest and each piece of wood is a little bit different and I ended up just scrapping, making notches with it after it failed the first notch and it failed the second notch. I wasn't gonna try to make a third notch. Um, generally the Gerber strong arm is, is what I would consider serviceable, but by no means proficient or skilled at making notches so take that for what you will but it is definitely not the best so that's why i didn't really feel inclined to try to force to make notches because it's not even the best at making them anyways so those were the basic tests the last one that i didn't include but will touch on is fire starting or ferro rod striking and the Gerber strong arm does a great job at that however the SC3 of course with its differential heat treat and of course its coating is not going to be at all usable for striking ferro rods so just keep that in mind if you are looking at fire starting with either of these now for this particular point um, my opinion on these knives or which one I would choose or which one I'd say would win. This was a really mixed bag. Usually I don't have such a mixed bag when I do these types of tests, but that would really, I would say this is almost more of a draw. I don't think there's a clear defined winner here. Um, the strong arm performed better with batoning and it and feather sticking, but the SC3 performed better with notch making and the Gerber just absolutely failed. <laughs> so Take that for what you will. They're both pretty interesting survival knives in their own right. And like I said, the SC3 can definitely do better at feather sticking. But in this particular example, with this particular wood, it just didn't work out. Anyways, guys, that is all for now. God bless, and I'm out.